Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to create some beautiful wall art. So stay tuned. All right, so the other day I posted a design uh, in our group. Um, it was this design where I had created some wall art um, with initials and names and with a heart in the middle. And uh, this is basically a mock-up. Um, so you print this off, you put it into frames, and then you hang it somewhere in your home, like a living room, bedroom, uh, etc. So uh, also you can buy these types of designs on uh, Etsy. Uh, here they are. And um, they go for about $14 um, to customize them. And I'm going to show you how to create them using Canva. So um, I'm going to bring up my Canva um, here. And um, now when you are creating um, designs that need to be split, the first thing you should do is just to decide what size paper you're going to be using when you're printing off your designs, the, the, the final product. Is it going to be going to be an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper? Is it going to be eight and a half by 14? Is it going to be smaller, etc. So what you want to do is you want to take the width of the final product. And if you're going to be printing uh, three individual frames to match up, then you'll multiply the width times three. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, a eight and a half by 14 printed uh, document. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take the, the width of eight and a half and I'm going to multiply that by three. Uh, and so when I do, I'm going to get um, a design of 25.5 inches in length. And then I'm just going to change the height to 14 because I want a nice long design. Okay, and I'm going to create my design. Okay, so here it is. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to split this or uh, use guides to split it into three. So I'm going to come over to File, to View Settings. I'm going to add guides and I'm going to go to Custom. And I want three columns and I don't want um, a gap. So I'm just going to set that to zero and I'm going to say add guides. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my initials on uh, the first and the third page. So I'm going to add the initials um, J for Jill and John. And I'm going to choose a, a serif font. But uh, before I do, I'm just going to move this over here. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger, maybe uh, 120 uh, or maybe larger. OK, let me just put that here. OK, so I'm going to come here and I'm just going to search for um, serif fonts. And I'm going to use this font right here because it's it's some um, uh, bold font. Um, so I'm going to come and make that a little bit larger to fill up my page um, like that. And just make sure that it's evenly spaced. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to that. You can change it to gray. You can change it to beige. You can change it to any color you like. That's the beauty of when you are creating your own custom designs. You you decide what you're gonna um, what color you're gonna use. So I'm gonna take a copy of that Control C, and I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna um, paste that. So I'm gonna bring that over here. And uh, I'm going to change this letter to T. OK, and I'm just going to center that a little bit more like that. OK, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a the name 
in, in script format. So I'm going to add some more text and I'm going to put gel in here and I'm going to try and center it uh, in the middle here. Let me make that a little bit larger. So there's my gel. And now I'm going to choose a uh, script font. I think I'm going to use um, this one here and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger like that. Okay, now I'm going to just make a copy of that and I'm going to bring that over here and try to line it up and I'm going to change this to Tony. Now, sometimes it's easier to use lowercase than it is to use um, initial caps uh, just for the joining, but it's up to you if you want to use capital letters um, or lower letters, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for heart lines. Okay, so I'll come in here and um, this is the one that I had used on my previous design. And what you'll want to do is you just want to line it up slightly because you'll want to um, attach it here. And now what you want to do is you'll want to find um, some curved lines that you can um, add to this to kind of join the two words together. Um, you can also just leave it like this and just make it smaller like that and then you can print off these designs. But if you want to join them, um, what you can do is you can uh, find some curved lines and just search in here for curved lines and like this one here and uh, you basically need to just play with the designs to get them um, to connect. Let me just make that larger so that we can kind of see the lines. So um, let me make that smaller. Okay, and if you want to join that to um, the word, uh, I'm just going to bring that to the front because it's it's not at the front. But um, so what we can do is we can just try that, or we can um, curve it a little bit to kind of make it fit. like that and that's a little bit um, thick at the end so let, let me just make that smaller like that and then you'll want to take a copy of that so control copy and paste and let's see if we can make it match on this top on this side now sometimes you can't make it match sometimes you need to find another curved line something that will kind of go better. Uh, so again, it's just a little bit of um, trial and error searching for a curved line. Like this one. So this one um, seems to work. So when I connect it here, it's almost a seamless transition like that. And then it connects in over here. And if you want, you can just make it smaller uh, on that end so that it's hidden and it looks connected. Um, and so this is basically um, the finished product um, for your design. Now, it doesn't have to stop here. You can also add these um, tails to the beginning here and just adjust them um, as needed. 
um, you can add it to the end here and again just adjust as needed um, you can also um, if you wanted to add uh, if this is for yourself and your loved one you can also add a date um, so you can add 2023 12 31 a date in here um, and then you can just uh, print that off like that now when you're ready to split it what you need to do is you need to download it uh, onto your computer so you can uh, download this design and then you can go to a website called pine tools you're going to search for split image and this is it right here split image and you're going to go and get grab your file which is right here and so here it is your whole file and you're going to split this image horizontally into three blocks and you'll come down here you'll say split image and then you can either download it as a zip, uh, which will be all three of your files, or you can just download each page separately. So I'm just gonna download each page separately and they'll come up here. Now I'm gonna go back to my Canva and I'm gonna add another page here. And I'm going to add a, um, picture mock-up so I'm going to come here and just to show you what it might look like um, I'm just gonna make that my background and I'm just gonna reposition that a little bit maybe I'll make it a little bit larger so that you can see it and now I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to bring in those designs which were right here. I'm just going to load them in to my Canva and I'm just going to place them in here so that you can see what they look like now. And remember these are just mock-ups. Um, what you'll do is you'll go and um, print them off either on your printer or you can send them to a, um, a professional printer. But this is what you can expect for them to look like when you print them off and when you frame them. Okay, and that is pretty much it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to be notified when new updates come out. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.